So now in this video, I have an op amp here. I'm using the LM358. There's uh, two of them on the integrated circuits. Uh, we should put these uh, inputs uh, to a supply voltage, but I didn't because it's not required for the circuit and it might uh, look uh, confusing. Otherwise, it's going to work uh, perfectly fine. And uh, so in any case, it's, uh, the op amp is wired in a stable mode, which means the output keeps alternating between high and low. It is set uh, by the uh, capacitor there and the resistor there. Now it is responding to the voltage at the uh, non-inverting input right here, which is not steady. So we have two equal value resistors across the uh, supply rails there going to the uh, non-inverting input. Uh, so these two resistors are trying to set it to half of the supply voltage, 2.5 volts. Um, but the output is either high as positive as it can go or low as uh, negative as it can go and there's a resistor coming back right here and uh, so when the output is high that raises the uh, voltage at the non-inverting input it also charges the capacitor uh, through the timing resistor and capacitor once the capacitor gets to a higher voltage than uh, we got here because it is charging then the output goes low it uh, basically connects to ground as good as it can so that uh, starts uh, discharging the capacitor but our reference voltage here um, it connects to the negative supply it pulls it down so now we have a lower voltage that the capacitor has to discharge to until it gets below that point output goes high raises the reference voltage and uh, the capacitor charges again towards a higher voltage so it keeps bouncing back and forth one thing to note right away, uh, normally I have a 220 ohm resistor for the red LED, which lights up when the output is high right there. Uh, but the LM358 can only provide so much uh, current um, before it uh, you know, basically limits current, can't really provide anymore, which would be bad for trying to charge the capacitor, of course. Um, so we are really reducing the current the red LED needs. Ideally, we would just be sending this to something that looks at the voltage without taking uh, current and response to it. But this uh, demonstration circuit, uh, this is going to work out just fine. So now I hooked up uh, my two-channel oscilloscope. We can look at uh, two voltages at the same time. The green jumper there, which is also the green line, is going to our voltage divider, which is influenced by the output right there. So it is changing. Uh, it changes suddenly because the output is changing suddenly. The uh, yellow line is the uh, red jumper uh, right there. I just uh, clipped the probes to the jumper, and there's alligator clips uh, uh, clip to other jumpers going to the negative supply you need to get a reference voltage the negative supply right there this is the voltage in relationship to that um, but in case uh, we'll zoom in and there you can see we have the uh, sudden rise when the output uh, goes high and it looks like it's high um, longer um, that's because probably the uh, capacitor does not charge as quickly when it's high and um, uh, so um, it's high longer and then but once the capacitor gets to that voltage once it just gets a speck above it then the output goes low the capacitor discharges again until it gets that lower limit and um because the output always wants to be more like the reference voltage than the capacitor voltage so once the capacitor voltage gets too low output goes high raising the reference voltage capacitor starts charging so now uh, zooming in, we have the uh, positive supply to pin number 8, negative supply to pin number 4 right there. Again, this is the LM358 uh, dual op amp. There's one on this side, one on that side. There's a output minus plus. Uh, output minus or inverting and then plus or non-inverting right there. So you can see our voltage divider, 10,000 ohm resistors. And from the output to the uh, non-inverting input, another 10k uh, resistor. So now, also at the output, we have a 100,000 ohm resistor right there coming down to the inverting input and uh, to the positive side of the capacitor. Negative over there, there's a gray band on the other end. It's a 10 microfarad capacitor. So if we used a larger value capacitor, this process is going to take uh, longer. Same as if we use a larger value resistor. If uh, one or the other is a lower value, then things are going to go faster right here. So we can adjust uh, the two of them to adjust our timing as desired. Now, 
Also at the output uh, top pin there, we have our load. So we got the two LEDs, the blue one, we got positive supply there. So we know that the blue LED lights up when the output is connected to ground internally right there, which it does a really good job of doing. Uh, we should be getting zero volts at the output. Now with the red LED, you can see that it's protective resistor. Again, we're using 470 ohms to lower current more than normal. Um, we uh, just because the output can only provide so much uh, current before it really starts affecting its uh, voltage. Um, but in any case, there you can see the resistor goes to ground, so we know that uh, the output's connected to the positive supply as good as it can to light the red LED. Um, again, doesn't connect to positive as well as negative. That's why we see a timing uh, difference. Um, but uh, that's the way it is with the output of uh, this particular op amp right there. We uh, could adjust this with other circuitry, uh, but uh, for this video, this is perfectly fine right here. If you don't need a 50% duty cycle, then you can wire this up uh, just fine. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.